Hi and welcome to Our Small Table. Today we're making a Syrian style falafel which we've put into a flatbread and are having as a sandwich. Here's our finished dish. Let's see how we got here. A lot of this is going to happen off camera because the food processor is so loud. I should say that we were supposed to have a video last week. I um, I said that we were going to have mamul, which is orange shortbread stuffed with dates, but almost at the end of recording, I had a camera disaster and lost all of my footage. And at that point, I had already used up the ingredients that I needed, which are not available in town. So we've simply given up on that recipe. We might make it another time, but it's not going to happen in the near future. So we've got our chickpeas in and add our chopped onion. Finely chopped fresh parsley, which I took the easy way out and used a mezzaluna that my sister gave me as a gift a few years ago. It is so much the faster way of chopping fresh herbs. And our garlic. And this is all of our spices. It's salt, cumin, and coriander. I'm going to process this until it's blended but not pureed and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're going to push down the sides here. I'm going to add our baking soda. Baking soda is kind of a cheat. Um, traditionally it would not be used, but because I'm using canned chickpeas, it helps a lot. And we'll start with just about two-thirds of the flour, because I measured out the whole three tablespoons, but I may not need that much. This mini food processor I've had for 15 years, 17 years, something like that, and it's the only food processor I've ever needed. It has just the one blade type, but it does everything I need it to do. It is, however, very, very loud, and so again, I'm going to do this off camera. We're looking for it to form a ball, but not stick to my hands when I make it form a ball, and we can add more flour if necessary, so I'll check back in and see how it is. And there we have it's formed a ball, but not sticking to my hands. So the whole thing is going to be put into a bowl and refrigerated, covered, for about two to three hours before we go on to the next step. And we'll see you then. Okay, it's been a couple of hours. I've already formed most of the falafels. We've got one more here to demonstrate. You just want to, you can leave them as just a ball, which is probably the most traditional, but I'm flattening them out a little bit because they're going to go into a flatbread to make a sandwich. So we've got all of our falafels there waiting. Our olive oil, kind of see it in there is heating up a little bit. Not quite as hot as I expected it to be by now, so we're going to leap forward in time until it's ready and we'll get started frying them. You want to be very gentle with these because they're not totally stable. They're a very loose mixture. So I'm using these particular tongs instead of my usual ones. These will be gentler on the falafel. Just want to 
cook them for about two to three minutes per side. And so you try to remember which order you put them in so that you turn them at the right moment so they don't get cooked under or cooked over. You want them to be about a kind of a golden brown in color. This is one of the big differences between the different kinds of falafel. In, I believe it's Egypt, for example, they use a split pea mixture. And so their falafel tends to be very green in a way that these aren't. And after it cooks, it can almost even look kind of black. But these should never get that dark. They should stay golden brown. We're going to leap forward until these four are done and the first half of the remaining three are done. We'll turn the others over and we'll be right back. We've actually lost one of our first ones because when I went to flip it, my hand jerked and I accidentally squeezed the tongs way too hard and smushed it beyond all saving. So we're down to six, but that actually is better. It's always better to have an even number when you're cooking for two. That way nobody gets more than anybody else. These are our last three. And the oil is hot enough at this point that they'll take only maybe a minute to cook on the second side. I've already prepared my flatbread. I've got cucumbers and tomatoes and some tahini dipping sauce. The tahini sauce recipe will be on the website with the recipe for the falafels. And we are draining these on a paper towel, which I'm doing on top of a wire rack just because I like to have some air come up underneath things while they're cooling and draining. Get these removed and I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stove. Don't need too much residual heat here. And we'll move the camera a little bit. And take some of those first batch. And there you have it. Thanks for joining me today at Our Small Table. The recipe we've used is linked in the video description and is available at OurSmallTable.com. Next time we're making halwa, which is a candy. Click subscribe so you don't miss out.